YouTube and Corey say hi. Hi. A little louder than that. Hi. Okay. So I didn't know if um that was my mic was picking that up. So anyway, happy new year. Happy new year from Alpha 1.1.2 ish. Ish. Yes, new year ish. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Anyway. So we are in Alpha 1.1.2 here. Now, this video is going to be about a specific minecart transport rail system thing that someone made in Minecraft Alpha 1.1.2. Let's go ahead and load it up. I figured you mentioned his name so he get credit for it because that was really cool. I don't remember his name. I couldn't find the original video. So, if I do manage to find the original video, the link will be in the description. Anyway, here we are. And, welcome home it says. That's inviting, isn't it? Grand Central Rail Station. Now this is the original version of the map, just so you know, I haven't really done anything. It's very, very complex. And it's got this huge minecart hopper thing right here, so... And the minecart will come through here. Booyah. Get it? <clears throat> Boom. And there is definitely a runaway cart system, which I will demonstrate once I get back. Is, are y'all playing together now? Uh. One second. Sorry, my dad asked me a question. Alright, anyway, here we are. And that my car will take care of it and I'll throw it back in the hopper. And this is cat this is the Cattle Island rail station. Now if I stay on this pressure plate again. Then um, my cart shows up. I get in it. I'm gonna get boosted down. And here we go. So, basically, I don't quite know how it works, but as you can see, the cart is not losing any momentum. I don't see how it works. I think it has something to do with the bug exploit with these torches, because when I break, it seems like usually when I break a torch, my cart stops moving. I don't know why, but... The horse finally died. <laughs> Lovely. Stupid horse. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, we're coming back, and here we are. That cart gets boosted up there. And now, just to show you the runaway cart system, we'll get it going. See, the runaway cart system catches it and it throws it back in the hopper up there. So, really that's all I wanted to show you about the original map. Um, actually, however, there is one more thing. Um, that this has nothing to do with the rail station itself. This is just, oops, <coughs> I went to the wrong place. This is just something really cool that the original creator of the map did. Anyway, I think it's really cool. I don't know if you guys do, but I do. Ladder, right here. I couldn't remember where to go. Um, up here. 
Good lookout. We can climb all the way up this tree here. This huge tree. And this guy... If Captain Sparkles watched his original video, then maybe that's how Captain Sparkles got inspired for Jerry's tree. I have no idea. Okay. Whatever. Um... <laughs> I don't know if you heard Corey say something, but anyway. Fail. I tried to spawn a horse and it spawned a mule. That's pretty You're funny. an abomination. I'm going to kill you. There we go. We'll watch the chunks render. We don't really have to watch all the chunks render. I just... I wonder how it got on short. I had it on... I had it on normal. Anyway, that's all for the original map. Now, something that I, that was pretty much in, actually something. Now I'm going to show you something that was entirely me, except for the fact that I used the map I just showed you. Now let me show you. All right, here we are in Minecraft 1.7.4, and we're going to start now. Minecart Mania. That's that was the name of the RAR file with the original map in it. Fluttering. So. I have bad luck with RAR files. Did you have to? And you called files. and you called Seven Zip the extracty thingy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here we are. This is the original map, as you can see. And if we go ahead and open the F3 debug menu, we are in a roofed forest. It thinks, but whatever, right? And those trees are severely jacked up. Whatever. Like there's jungle leaves, spruce leaves, oak leaves. There's like every kind of leaves in those trees. Um. But if you like take one step, thinks you're in like a freaking tundra forest or something, and it's like, boom, and it's like, <laughs> retardation is my middle name, and it's something like that. Mm hmm. Okay. Here we are down here. I've completely updated this map. Except the mine, the runaway minecart system does not work anymore because I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. So it's completely non-functional. But the cart, like the cart, keeps on going. Basically, is the whole problem. So it's completely non-functional, but you can still use it. I'm gonna go eat now. Okay. The hopper is completely cosmetic. It it doesn't have any use anymore because I would show you. I didn't actually show you what was going on behind the scenes before because I didn't have my pickaxe out and I didn't feel like getting it out. But um. Basically, all these carts and all these rails were used for, like, an analog logic and rail station system. <laughs> I say analog because now mine is almost entirely redstone. So. Is it really raining again? You're kidding me, right? It literally quit raining for, like, two minutes. That was stupid. I really hate the rain in Minecraft. Anyway, so there's this digital dispenser down there, powered by redstone. So when we step on this pressure plate... Ta-da! Also, the way you get going on this is you push the button, look forward, and push W. That's how you get going. So this, uh, this is like my most prized work in Minecraft, pretty much, so. It also, I'll show you some other weird stuff, but let me explain it first. It returns the minecart to the dispenser by running the minecart into lava and hopefully not incinerating the item, rather the item falling into the hopper. Sometimes the item is incinerated and you'll have to replace it yourself. Usually that doesn't happen. Alright. So here we are. This is the Cattle Island Rail Station now. And I'll go ahead and push this away. It used to be automatic, as you probably could tell, but I don't know how to make it automatic. But it still works well enough. So I'll show you behind the scenes here. 
So the incineration system, it's not really an incineration system, but the return system is here. Oops. In Cattle Island, it's here. So. Okay, I don't think it worked because, see the thing is, um, let me get a pickaxe out. What? Oh, duh. Sorry. I broke the wrong thing. The whole way it works is that it plunks it in the hopper, but as you can see there, the item got incinerated. It, there is an item in the dispenser, but I think the dispenser is already full. The items are not in the hoppers. That should have been. And this sign is just keeping the lava confined for that area. And so basically, in this one, when the cart comes around the return system, instead of going through all the crazy stuff to go up here and come back into the hopper, because this is the hopper, as you can see there, instead of doing all that crazy stuff, it boosts up here into that lava and breaks the cart and hopefully dumps it into the hopper. Like the actual item hopper. So, yeah, you can see the entirety of the hopper there. So let's go ahead and go back. So the way this one works is exactly the same. So, of course the torch bug doesn't really work in the newest version of Minecraft. It just goes forward using boosters. So, don't worry about breaking torches. If you don't like the torches there, you can take them all down. It's not going to affect anything. So, it just uses booster rails. <clears throat> what the heck? Did it start raining again? Because the sound normally doesn't stop unless it starts raining. I swear if it started raining again, that's going to be stupid. Alright. Go and push this away. Getting the, the minecart sounds just totally stopped. That's kind of weird. So, of course, over here, item hopper. I don't think it worked. I think that one got incinerated too. Said it usually doesn't get incinerated. I think I may have been wrong about that part. I think I'm going to go ahead and change the mode to uh, creative just because this world was someone's survival world originally so why continue it why just look around or why not just look around so you know so it gets boosted up here and this weird hole right here there used to be like a cart booster right there so yeah this lava would also break the cart Instead of, like, there's more track to work it into the hopper. So, I will just go up here. And the, and the original map is going to be completely unmodified. The one that I give you the link to. It's going to be the original file, the original RAR file, unextracted. So, just a heads up there. Um, uh, just if you're wondering, because it didn't come for me, uh, it is virus free. Because I made, I actually did make sure of that before I downloaded it. Although I didn't think some really cool guy on YouTube playing Minecraft all the time would have infected his level with a virus. Although he could have had a virus on his computer on accident. I mean. When you get something from someone off YouTube, just heads up. You might want to scan it, regardless whether you trust them or not, because you don't know the condition of their computers. That's just that's just some advice. All right. So I'm gonna zip that map up. It doesn't even show the file size there anymore, does it? 
Uh, well, I guess, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you would like, you can visit the links in the description to see my computer-related blog, my personal blog, and, last but not least, my other channel, where I mainly play video games with friends. Oh, by the way, don't bother trying to hit those buttons. <laughs>